Call a punch, there's a resurgence in atheism in our world today. I wrote about this in my most recent column on townhall.com, as did my good friend Frank Pastore uh, out in L.A. Uh, in the substance of the two articles, we took on the biggest critics of faith these days, people like Sam Harris and Richard Dawkins, and most notably, Christopher Hitchens, senior editor at Vanity Fair. The attempt to express their angry positions about why God doesn't exist and why we shouldn't believe him fall pretty thin. Uh, Hitchens, who's widely considered to be among the top 5% of the smartest people on the planet, uh, does not impress me when all he makes is consistent straw man arguments about uh, inconsistencies in religious people, not in the substance, the focus of what those faiths represent. In Hitchens' own life, he wants it both ways. He wants to acknowledge the evil of Islamic radicalism. He wants to fight a war against jihad. But he's not willing to say that evil has a source. He wants to say we should be outraged and fight for the protections of our future. But if there is no good and there is no evil, and if there is no God, there is neither of those, then there can't be any rationale for saying that their way of believing is any different than ours, therefore, if they want to murder us, they should be allowed to. Hitchens is fundamentally dishonest in his philosophical viewpoint, but I think he's dishonest in one additional way. I personally have known many atheists over the years. None of them would I consider to be people that truly, truly, deep, deep, deep down in their heart, haven't at least considered the existence of God. See, it's one thing to be able to say, I find hypocrisy in faith practitioners, it's another thing to lay your head on the pillow at night and really have a definitive answer for where the world came from, uh, why humans appeared, where our mind learned the ability to operate, and how in the world is it? How in the world is it that we can distinguish between good and evil? These are the four big topics that Atheum has no answer for. And though Christopher Hitchens' new book, Why God is Not Great, may be a bestseller, it doesn't go any further to try to answer these monumental problems. Sure, there are problems with religion in general. It's dishonest to say that Christianity and all other faith systems are exactly the same because they're not. There are exclusive claims that only Christianity makes that others uh, tend to uh, ignore or uh, resist altogether. The truth is, each of us has a little stamp of God upon us. It's called a conscience. He gave it to us. It helps us determine the difference between good and evil. And to recognize good and evil in the world around us, hence, causes us to recognize that God is the one who put uh, that recognition within us. There may not be a lot of reasons to believe religious people about things that they say about religious systems. I find it interesting that in trying to dispute it, Richard Dawkins is now attempting to evangelize atheism to a non-believing world. Uh, talk about spreading a message that has no hope. What is attractive about atheism to bring new converts to the belief system? Instead, they should listen to that little voice that's on the inside of them, the voice that haunts their mind when they go to bed at night, and wonder if they are wrong. If we are wrong, the people of faith, there's nothing that they have to lose by acknowledging God's existence. But friends, if atheists are wrong, oh boy, are they in for a surprise. Gavin McCullough with you each week. They join me next time. WMCA 57.